I have a feeling like this is going to be massive overkill, but you know, it's our first time doing this fight and I wanted to bring a big stick. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to... Uh, the plan is... The, the two big plans are to get our, our tech stuff going, uh, because I have lots of element. I've been farming uh, Bela like crazy. This is probably, I don't know, my 13th or 14th time coming in here now. Um, she's just really easy to farm. Um, and then if uh, time uh, permits... The plan is to try our hand at the next uh, mini boss fight, which is the uh, Scold and Hati, I think, fight, or Hati and Scold or something like that. Uh, they're, they're the two uh, <coughs> wolves in the in Asgard. So, um, yeah, I have run this fight many, many, many times, and like I said, in fact, also when I first did this. Which was for you the last episode for me, you know, like I said, 13 or 14 fights ago and many days ago in real life. Um, I had like a full complement of 20 and I have since removed half of the 30. So now I only have 10 in here and, and arguably I don't even need 10. I could probably do this easily with, you know, with five. But, um, you know, that's what they're for. So I pretty much just keep them here all the time. This is their new home and, um, you know, make sure they have berries and stuff. And then, yeah, do the fight. So let's go ahead and do this yet once again. And then once uh, we'll defeat uh, Bela, get our 30 more element, and then we're going to head back to the base and make a tech replicator and a generator and all that other good stuff. So yeah, they just burn her down. I, I haven't ever been in a situation yet where we came even close to, you know, losing a fairy. This fight is just so easy. And it's a good one to farm, you know. And Soldier 3 has the loot. Okay. So then what I do is I just call everybody back this way so I can kind of reposition them. And then bring them back this way. Everybody coming? Oh. <laughs> nope, they decided to go into the cave and wreck face on everybody else. All right, whatever. Go ahead, wreck face, everybody. Hopefully they don't get stuck in here. I think that takes care of all the bad guys. All right, follow me. All right, now uh, what I do is I have everybody follow the lead fairy, which everyone happens to be in the front. Make sure they're all on neutral. Make sure you are on passive, so that way... Everybody stays anchored to this, uh, this dino. And then, uh, was it eight that I said they grabbed the stuff? I don't remember. Let's see. So eight, where for art thou? Right here. Nope. Actually, I, here, let's do this. Let's get on you and kind of pull you away so I can get to two soldier eight. Oh, it wasn't eight. Okay, who, I don't remember who it was. Was it seven? Maybe it was seven. Yes, it was seven. Okay, so, wow, look at that. That's pretty nice. Uh, we have, yeah, that's a that's a, an improvement over what we currently have. Um, so what else we get? We get a, an ascendant Carcaro saddle. I don't even know what the hell a Carcaro is. That's probably from one of the Genesis maps or maps that I haven't played yet. Uh, a Mastercraft mammoth, Mastercraft mantis. Theomia, Ramshackle, Rex. So, yeah, this is definitely the prize here uh, in all of this stuff. Okay. So, you know, in terms of loot, too, I just want to kind of make a a general announcement here. Hold on. How many more things do I have in here? I'm going to have to do one more fight. Okay. It's on an hour cooldown, though. So, um, let's put you on passive as well so you don't run off on me. So, in terms of loot, I'm I'm no longer going to show everything I loot, and and, and I, I haven't been showing everything, but I have been showing some things, but the, here's the fact of the matter, guys. I come in here, I farm 
Vela, you know, every hour on the hour, well, not quite every hour on the hour, but you know, when I, when, when I get over here, I get decent loot from her. I go into the, you know, the artifact of the strong cave and you know, that's just nothing but a loot pinata there. And you know, at some point it's like, okay, <laughs> he got good loot, you know? So, you know, you guys are going to get kind of bored of watching it. And I, I just think that it's kind of, you know, a repetitive, I guess is the word. So unless I find something that's really noteworthy, <coughs> um, moving forward, I'm, I'm not going to keep showing, you know, little clips of, of the loot. Cause you know, I'm just getting it left and right basically. And I, I've got, you know, I've got blueprints and I've got equipment and tools and weapons just coming out my ears. In fact, I need to throw some of them into the grinder. Um, so, you know, moving forward, you know, that'll be our MO. But like I said, if I find something that is like, oh my God, that is just absolutely amazing. I will definitely, you know, show that on camera. Uh, but for the most part, we're just going to, um, what am I doing? Yeah, let's go here, or land Northwest. Uh, most part, I'm just going to, you know, do all that stuff off camera moving forward. Because I've, I've already got gobs and gobs and gobs of it. Um, there is something, though, that I did get which is unique um, off of Bela or the Bela fight. And it's a, it's a glider thing. And I haven't even tried it yet. I wanted to wait uh, until we started the next episode to give it a try on camera. Uh, so I did find that. So yeah, we'll uh we'll give that glider thingy a try. I'm not I know the gliders, I believe the gliders were introduced with Aberration. Uh, but I've never used one, so I don't even know how to use one. But we'll figure it out. I don't think this is the same exact glider, but I think you know this is maybe like it's a, a supposedly it's supposed to be one of Bela's wings or something, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, Desmo, oh, decent Desmoda saddle, ramshackle gilly, and a switch thingy. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's do a quick update on where we are with the breeding. Uh, things are going very well. Um, as you can see, I got a whole batch of uh, Rexes here that are growing up. They all have two health mutations, one weight mutation, and two melee mutations. So they're just, you know, they're getting really strong. And then I even have inside of the barn here, I'll show you, I have a new Rex father, I think. Yeah, this fought, this guy's got um, two health, two weight, and two melee. And he's got a cool red underbelly. So this is my latest mutation, and this guy will become our... Uh, yeah, we just did a, an imprint on him. Um, he'll become our, our new father uh, once he's fully grown. He's uh, he's getting there. Right? Wait, is he grown? No, he's still adolescent. Yeah, he's still he's only seventy three percent. We also had some really cool mutations on our theories. Um, so both yeah, both of these theories have two health mutations and one melee mutation and a really cool blue um, you know main main color region there. Um, I love it because blue is my favorite color. Uh, we got a couple of Argies here with uh, one health, two weight, and two. No, one health and two weight. That S2, I, I, I actually need to take off there. And they got this, you know, kind of green head patch, which is kind of cool. Uh, but then I have, uh, and these guys are, wait a minute. So these guys are, I think these are just extras because. No, they're not extras. They have different mutations. That's right. Okay, so up here, you can see we got some really cool purple uh, talons on our new father, and he's an H1, W1, M1, so basically he's got a health mutation, weight mutation, and melee. Weight is very important on an RG, of course, because I use them for utility. In fact, it is the most important thing uh, on the arch, because I don't even really use them for combat. Um, and then the mother here has a health, one health, and two weights. And so what I want to do next, of course, is breed the second weight mutation onto the father and the melee mutation onto the mother um, as we go along. So you can see, um, in fact, she's kind of got, that's kind of cool. I never noticed that because it's hard to see when they're they're little. She's kind of almost got 
a really dark bluish green colored talons there. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just black and I'm colorblind. I don't know. I'm not actually colorblind, but yeah. So let's see what else we got. We got a cool mutation on this Anki here. So uh, Mother Anki with, again, my favorite color, blue on the stripes. So that's neat. And, um, oh, we got a baby Andrew here. We got to get, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's so hard to remember, uh, especially, you know, with the gestation babies. I try and put it, you know, set a timer, but sometimes I forget. Uh, okay, so we got these two new Andrew babies. The Andrews, as you can see, we got a father with a health and a weight mutation uh, and two mothers with health mutations. So basically we're trying to get the father's weight mutation into the line here. Uh, so let's pull these little guys out and take a quick look at them. I don't want to spend a lot of time on breeding. It takes so long to do this, you guys. And again, you know, I, I love doing it. It's fun. It's part of the game. But it, it is quite the time commitment, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's kind of heartbreaking, too, because, you know, you have to kill all these animals. I know they're all digital, so you know, it doesn't really bother me in real life. But, you know, it kind of sucks, though. Anyway, uh, okay, so both of these are males. Uh, let me bring up my spreadsheet for Andrews here. Um, okay, so... Oh, yeah, you know what? The, the father, this father actually has low melee, though where the mothers have high melee. Uh, the difference of 22 versus 37. So we're basically trying to get a father with their melee and a mother with his weight, okay? So this father is a 35, 30. I'm just looking at health, stamina, weight, and melee. He's a 35, 30, 30, 37. So that does the trick. So this baby Andrew on the left has um, all of the, the best stats. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to name him. Let me move a couple things down here. He's going to be Father um, H1W1M1. That'll be his name. Because he's got... Wait, let me double check that. Yeah, he's got both the weight mutation and the damage mutation. Um, well, no, I guess the father already had. So he's got health, weight, and damage. Cool. Okay, so his new name is Father H1W1M1. He's our new daddy. We just have to wait for him to grow up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop breeding uh, from this father so we don't have any, any more inferior babies. Okay, let's try this next one here. Okay, so this Sarkis is a 35, 30, 28, 37. Okay, so it's got the lower weight, right? 35, 30, 30, 37. Got, I always like to double check this because sometimes the spyglass hits the wrong thing. 35, 30, 28, 30. Okay, yeah. So we don't need this father here. We're going to... Tell him to follow us away from the other father. And, okay, stop, 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 stop. What? Oh, for, damn it, Ark. This game is so fucking frustrating, you guys, when it comes to getting stuck. It is the worst game for getting stuck. It's unbelievably bad. <laughs> And you'd think Wildcard would have fixed that shit by now. I mean, this game's been out since 2015. Come on. I love the game, obviously, or I wouldn't be playing it, but that's just, that's the probably the most frustrating thing about this game is how easily your character gets stuck. Anyway, all right, enough ranting. Okay, so cool. We got a new a new father here uh, with health, weight, and melee mutation, and he'll replace this father, and then we'll go from there. I've got so many extra dinos, too, guys, that I'm just not... Most of them are just getting sent to Dino Heaven when I, if, if I if I can't use them. Uh, okay, so let's see. We got an Anki egg in here, her 41, 28, 36, 34. She is another uh, equivalent mother. So she should have um, a weight mutation and a melee mutation. 41, 28... Yeah, so 36 and 34, those two weighted melees are mutations. Those were not on the original uh, parents. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, or I should say on the base parent. So let's hatch this egg here. And we're going to name you Mother, th yeah, Mother 2. Because we have, whoops, don't hit the baby. There we go. Okay, cool. So we'll just tell her to uh, come over here. And we'll slot her into this spot here. Okay. Good. So she should be fine there. And yeah, there there's there are there's more that I need to do, but like I said, I don't want to spend any more time on, on uh breeding uh it, with everything we else we need to do. Uh but just to let you know, these are all just basically soldiers. They're you know, they're oh you wanna cuddle, huh? Okay. Uh, they're all mutated, um, and they're stronger than what we've been using, which has already been amazingly strong. And uh, so when they grow up, we're just going to add them to the army. Uh, and then, likewise, mm, mm, well, these Rexes here, half of them are new mothers for breeding, and half of them are soldiers. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Uh, we do have a new mutation on the Quetzes, too. So... Um, the, the color changed the neck and the leg of uh, the appendages to this kind of cool looking orange color. And this Quetz now has a weight and a melee mutation. And it will replace, once it's fully grown, it will replace this father, which I currently have breeding turned off on. And then that father there, we might, might become our new FedEx Air uh, version two, because this was one of our original Quetzes here. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. Okay. These Rexes over here are all waiting to be leveled, as well as these uh, theories over here. Okay, and then, yeah, I think that gets us pretty much caught up on the breed. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to do some stuff with Element. I'm excited, man. Uh, so just to show you, we have 540 Element. <laughs> That's how much grinding I've been doing. And I can tell you we have done the beta fight exactly 18 times. Oh my gosh, that's even more than I than I was originally guesstimating. So yeah, I've I've done that fight 18 times in total. Um and that's how much uh we've gotten. Okay, so let's see. We got some saddles to put away here. Uh this this um thing uh store chest is completely jammed with saddles. It's just set all kinds of saddles. Um, and so I had to make another one to put these saddles in. And, you know, at the end of the day, what I should do is I should throw about 60 to 70% of those saddles in the grinder because I'm just never going to use them. But I hate to throw it away. <laughs> you know, I like this stuff. It's cool. Uh, this we need to, well, we need to make ourselves a new riot helmet. Um, do I have the mats to do that now? Let's put this in here. Um, we should take quite a bit of pearls. Oh, crystal. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to, I am actually really low on crystal too. All right. Well, I'll worry about that later. I mean, the riot helmet that we're currently wearing is still pretty damn good. It's 236, but this one has a hundred more armor, but we'll deal with that later. Put all the rest of these blueprints in here. Uh, any blueprints, you know, at least for basic stuff that are duplicated, I just keep one. And the reason I do that is because if, you know, if, and when we do a respec, see, we don't need both of these, you know, then I could potentially make some of this stuff without having to invest points into it as long as it's not a prerequisite thing which a lot of them are um i did get a very very nice i don't know i don't know if i've shown this to you guys already or not um but in one of my runs in the artifact and strong cave or maybe this came from bela i don't know uh, but we got a really really nice pair of riot uh leggings and um what else is there anything else i th i think I mean, other we've got a lot of other stuff too, of course, but that's pretty noteworthy. I'm pretty sure I already showed you a clip of me getting these 544 armor flak leggings, which are really damn good. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here that's real super noteworthy at present. that stuff in there okay so um let's try let's try these wing thingies out first just looking to see what uh, what's in there I, I don't even i have no idea how these work um i guess we left our bat over here 
So obviously we have to get up on a high spot. Hey, let me through. Let's just try from the... Well, here, we'll try it over here first. We'll do baby steps. Okay, so... Where do these go? Okay, those go on there. That's cool looking, though. It, it kind of... It has more of a primitive type of look to it, though. Is that... Is that what they look like on Aberition? Or is this a special... Bela version. Uh, whoops. Damn it. Here. I'll close that. Uh, is this like a special Bela version? What does it say? Glider suit skin. When attached to a chest armor, the glider suit enables sailing through the air by double tapping jump while gaining speed by running and diving. <laughs> So we double tap jump to get in the air, and then we probably use it in the same way that we would use a glide on, on like the, uh, here, you follow us just in case. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, okay, so this is very, whoa, shit, what happened? How come I just nosedived? Um, do we have like reverse aircraft controls? Um, let's see, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was going to say. Let's try this. Okay, it doesn't seem to... Oh, shit! It doesn't seem to allow me to, like, pitch up and down. So it looks like it just glides as far as it goes, and that's as far as it goes, I think. Because, you know, when I'm gliding on, say, like a griffin, or even the bat, I can pitch up and down, but it doesn't, it's not letting me do that. Unless I'm missing something. Let me look at something again here real quick. <laughs> Enable sailing through the air by double tap and jump while gaining speed by running and diving. Okay, so uh, unless I'm missing something here... Um, you know what? This is actually pretty cool. I should just keep these on all the time. Is there any reason not to? I don't know. Let's try it from really high up. But I, I think uh, it looks like I just glide to the ground. I can't, like, pitch up. I, I, unless I'm missing something, like I said. Okay, you following? All right, here we go. Oh! Why, why am I... Why did I? Why did my guy die? If I didn't do anything that I'm aware of, oh, wait a minute. Now it's letting me pitch up and down. Hmm. <laughs> it just like did a nose dive. Okay, hold on a second. I'm confused because when it wasn't letting me control the pitch at first, but then it all of a sudden let me start doing it. So what the hell? Let's try this again. I gotta figure this out. This is fun though. Kind of reminds me of the hang glider in, uh, what's that game, uh, Subsistence? Okay. Here we go. See, it, if I do that, it doesn't... Oh, okay, maybe it's, it's more of a gradual... Okay, but see, he's diving there, and I'm not doing that. I don't know why he's diving. Okay, so it, it is similar to, you know, a griffin or a bat. The difference appears to be that you can't, um, you can't pitch up and down quite as. See now there, he just dived. I don't know. Did I, did I run out of stamina? Hmm. Um. Anyways, what I'm saying is, it seems like. It's, it's more of a gradual pitch. It's not quite as 
responsive as it is on the on the critters. And that's fine. I mean, if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. Okay, so the only thing I'm not quite sure of is why... Uh, why he just all of a sudden does a nosedive when I'm not doing anything on the controls. Is it a, is it because we rent, we're we running out of speed? Is it a velocity situation? I mean, that would kind of make sense, I guess. I'm going to try this one more time. Just... What is that? Oh, there are a bunch of hyenodons. You know, I, I've noticed something about these guys, you know, when leveling the dinos. They seem to give a really high amount of XP when you kill them. And I didn't realize that that was a mechanic of these dudes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so I can... See, now he's kind of diving there. And I'm not doing anything to my knowledge to cause that. See, he's diving there. Is it like sort of simulating like you know drafts or something it moves pretty quick see now he just do dove there but yeah I'm thinking maybe it's because of speed he just doesn't have enough speed but it's sort of like it kind of works a little bit like the Maywing only not nearly as good as the Maywing but it's fun and, <coughs> excuse me, it could also potentially save our butts, though I pretty much keep, you know, if we accidentally bail off our flyer like I've been known to do. Let's try it right now. Yeah, we just don't. Oh, man, that is nice. Um, but I also, you know, I also, whoa, shit, I didn't do that on purpose. I also have a, a parachute, too, that I keep on my hot burner at all times uh, for, for that issue. <laughs> <laughs> all right very good so we have had fun with our glider wings um like i said i think i'll just wear them all the time why not um how heavy are they that might be a consideration oh they're 20 pounds okay well i mean we can handle that but that could that's a thing to keep in mind but yeah i think we'll wear them why not all right guys so um element is next so let's see here. I'm not real familiar with Element. I mean, kind of am, but I haven't used it a lot. Because in the old days, this shit was really hard to get. And you had to be in end game and you had to have a tribe. Excuse me. A pretty big tribe. Or at least set up. Um, you know, to, to farm it, to have enough of it to do anything with. And remember, back then there weren't these maps like, I guess the newer ones like Crystal Isles and... Genesis and some where you had multiple ways to get element. Basically, the only way to do it on the original maps was boss fights. And not even like many boss fights like Bela. So it was hard to come by. And so, you know, I haven't spent a ton of time in the end game in Ark, uh, which is interesting considering my over 3,000 hours in it. And therefore, what I'm trying to say is I'm not real well versed in element, but we are going to get there. We are going to get there. Okay, so let's grab the element. And I think, I, I know we can convert the shards to actual element through the replicator, but I think we also can use these for fuel. So we'll, we'll figure that out. What we're going to do first is we're going to go here and element catalyzer. Crafts element, but requires direct contact with liquid element to function. So that requires element ore, and I think element ore is a Genesis thing, if I remember right. So, um, okay, so we, what we actually want to do is go tech. And I think we want to start with a tech replicator and a tech generator. Um, holds three times the water of a standard canteen, can cool the water for extra refreshment. Oh, that's cool not super expensive either okay where's the where's the replicator how come it's not showing up here oh there it is okay so are we not high enough in level to get 
to get that? Wait a second. That, that would seem to suggest that. Hmm. All right, what is our level? We're level 102. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, I just remembered. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't technically get the tech stuff until we defeat the bosses. Um, because you know when you do the main bosses, you know we're like Broodmother and Megapithecus, all those on the gamma, beta, and alpha levels. Then, then that's when that you start getting the the tech. Um, uh, which McCullough's Ingrams. So, I guess we have a decision to make here. Do I? Now, there's something else that we got to keep in mind here, too. Okay, so do I wait until we start doing the bosses to get the tech Ingrams like uh, you know you would normally have to do? And I think I'm still going to have to do that in a lot of cases because it looks like I can learn the S plus. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it because it's not going to cost me anything. Oh no, it isn't going to let me do it. Look at that. See, it's, it's flashing like, no, you don't. Okay. Well that answers that question then. So I guess we're not going to be doing tech stuff yet. We, we're, we got to get the bosses beat in order to unlock the Ingrams. I completely forgot about that. Um, all right. So that begs the question though. Uh, I believe I've told you guys this, or if I haven't, I'm going to. You know, when Ark Ascended comes out, I'm starting over. And not necessarily even on Fjorder, maybe a different map, I don't know. Uh, and that's going to happen pretty soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. I, I mean, I don't know that for sure, but they said, you know, in, in October or towards the end of October. And we're about halfway through the month now. So, I think what that means then... Is we should I I, know, I still haven't finished my my front steps, maybe I'll never will we'll see. Um, what that means then is we probably really if if we want to get into the tech stuff at all because I'm not going to cheat it in. Um, we need to really start fast tracking the bosses, and I you know we have an army right. I mean we got all these guys out here which are our best uh, best soldiers, but we also have inside of here, we've got all of these rexes. And, you know, the higher up they go, the stronger they get in terms of their number. Like, for example, this is Soldier 29. So Soldier 29 is generally going to be stronger than Soldier 1. Um, and, you know, they don't they don't have, like, every single level either. They, there's still more levels. I just got them up to 2K or yeah, uh, 20K health and 2K melee as kind of the, the starting point, if you will. So we got all these Rexes. We've got a bunch of Therizinos, plus remember we have the 10 that are still up in Bela's cave too. And then everything, like I said, that's sitting out in the yard waiting to be, you know, grow up and be tamed up. So I think that's what we should probably do. If the plan is, and the plan, and I'd like the plan to be that we get into some of the tech stuff before we end this series. Um, and, oh, you know what? There's another caveat to all this too. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be gone. Um, next week, I, I got to go to Dallas on a business trip for a week. So I'm not even going to be able to play for, you know, the third week in October. So there's that too. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, let's just do what we can do. That's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. So um, what that means then guys is we are going to go ahead and try the um, Hati Skold fight, uh, which is in Asgard. And so I think, you know, uh, that fight consists of two bosses. So you, you got Hottie and you got Skold. And one of them is really tanky, does less damage, but calls adds. The other one is less tanky, does more damage, and does fire damage. So what I'm thinking is maybe... A, and the other thing that's cool about it is you're not constricted to an arena. It's just out in the open. So you can pretty much have, as far as I know anyways, as many dinos as you want. So what I'm thinking is maybe we have one group of Rexes um, and one group of theories or maybe even just two groups of rexes i don't know the theories are just badass you know I, i've taken these guys down into the magmasaur cave um i do have the footage of that recorded but i'm, I'm not going to show it to you because i'm just going to actually do that we're going to go down there um, in an actual episode 
because it's very cool down. Well, actually, it's hot down there, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, you can get a ton of black pearls for one thing. So we'll we'll actually do that in an episode. So I'm not going to show you the the footage. We'll go down there, but these guys are just absolutely devastating. Um, they're so strong uh, offensively. Uh, just really impressive. But I want to I want to try the Rexes out. We haven't used the Rexes yet in a boss fight, so I think we'll. We'll try the Rexes. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to get the army assembled. I'm going to get it staged in Asgard in front of the portal. Then I will bring you guys back at that point, and we will try our hand at the Skold and Hati, or Hati and Skold, whatever the hell you call that, fight. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and ready to start this fight. Um, I, I, I have a feeling like this is going to be massive overkill, but, you know, it's our first time doing this fight, and I wanted to bring a big stick. Um, and, uh, so I, I read up a little bit on this fight and kind of loosely watched a, a couple of videos. I didn't like study the videos cause I didn't, you know, I want to, didn't want to reveal that much information about it, but here's what I know. Um, we're going to get two creatures that are going to come out of that portal. They're going to, they're like wolf dudes. Uh, one of them is, I think the darker colored one. I don't remember which one's, um, hot tea and which one's school or whatever. I can't remember the names. Anyway, the darker one is the tanky one, does less damage, but calls in ads. The the lighter one is the higher DPS that does fire damage, but has less health. So basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take group one, which I've assigned to the dinos on the left, and send them after whoever comes out on the left side, and then group two, <laughs> send them after whoever comes out on the right hand side. Um, as I'm facing. Um, so, let's see. Before we get started, I'm going to just... I, I don't think I need these, but you never know, right? So, we're going to just play everything super safe. So, we're going to take those for ourselves. And I also want to just remove some of this crap out of the way here, too. Just so we have, you know, a nice, clear pathway to to get at the bosses. Uh, I'm... Um, again, I'm not fully, I don't fully know what to expect here, so we'll get this stuff out of the way, and then we'll get started. I'm going to ride Big Daddy here. Big Daddy is a very high damage Rex, but I actually have quite a few very high damage Rexes. Um, but he's a, he's over 2,700 um, melee. Uh, and then I have a few in this group that are even higher than that, but we got Big Daddy pulled out, so we're going to ride on, on Big Daddy. Okay, so... Uh, we'll pull up here. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's get let's get this tree out of the way too. All this shit's in the way here for this fight, and uh, I don't want the weight of all of that stuff. Not that it's really a problem, but let's just get rid of it anyway. Okay, so here, let's get dehydrated. Let's fix that problem. Are we hungry too? Yeah, actually, we are hungry. And I think... Oh, for goodness sakes, I didn't bring any actual food with me? Oh, I can't take them anywhere. All right, well, whatever. Let's just go. Um, so we'll get up close here. Uh, I want to... Let's just go with group one first. So we just want to make sure that they are selected. Okay. Um, they And everybody should be currently on passive. Let's just make sure that is the case. Group two. Okay. And then back to group one. Tame, tame order in group one. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Run away. Okay, so send group one after you, send group two after you, and it's already a cluster. <laughs> I can't even move. They didn't give they didn't give us a whole lot of time to do anything. Okay, uh, I don't even know what the hell's going on. Okay, uh, are we are we done? Seriously, that's it. <laughs> Okay, I kind of figured this is probably what was going to happen. Oh my goodness, this is like cluster. All right, you know what? Um, we have no order, no groups. I mean, that happened so damn. 
<laughs> so damn fast. I didn't even see the, the first boss go down. Oh my god. Okay, here. Let's tell everybody to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> I know this was massive overkill, you guys. I, you know, the next time we do this, I'm just going to have everybody uh, aggressive and let them go for it. Screw that trying to sick one one group on one boss one on the other. We just don't need to do that. <laughs> and actually, I don't even... Well, you know, we, we could farm this. In fact, you know, the more I think about it, this one might be better to farm than the other one anyways because when you uh, teleport to Asgard in the northeast, it just lands you right on the other side of that lake, so it practically puts you here, whereas with the other one, I have to kind of fly a little ways to get to the place. But we certainly are not going to use this many dinos here. We we could have probably been absolutely fine with half or even less than half of these these guys. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it was our first time, and so um, I wanted to make sure. <laughs> I wanted to bring that big-ass stick. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I, I, I completely did not pay attention to who got the stuff. Uh, oh, actually, here. There's stuff right here. What's this? Oh, uh, that's it. Oh, well, it's one of them. Okay, what do we got? Nice riot boots. Um, some pretty nice flippers. There's the relic. Okay, so this was Skull. I think Skull was the fire guy. He, like, breathed fire on us almost immediately. There's a Diplo saddle and a hyena. Hyena Don and a Megalosaurus. Okay, well, this is probably the best loot that we got out of that. Um... What about the other guy? I mean, I don't even know where he died. Is there another thing down here? See, that's the problem, of course, with having this many dinos, is it's just chaos, you know? Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what then, guys. I'm gonna start moving dinos out of the way and until I find who's got the other loot. Um, because, like I said, I have no idea. I don't see, at least up in front here, I don't see another brown... Uh, you know, brown bag on the ground, so not that I can tell. And the other the other good thing, though, about doing these guys one at a time is I'll be able to... Oh, wow, he got ten levels. Okay, so this, this guy must have killed one of the bosses, probably the one that dropped the stuff on the ground since it was on the ground. Um, let's see, how many points can we give him? 26. Okay, cool. So he's definitely a strong dino now. Okay, let's just bring him over there. Here we go. Okay, finally found it. Uh, okay, so let's see. We have a, a Ascendant Carno saddle. We've got a Castroids, 15 element, um, some flak boots. We've got the Relic, a, a Fiomia saddle, and. A Mastercraft Plesiosaur saddle. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that was a <laughs> that was an absolute overwhelming uh, victory. So, I I think what I'm gonna do is you know something that something did occur to me. See, now we're having food problems, aren't we? Um. That is that. Um, the advantage of doing these bosses is you get two sets of loot instead of just the one set of loot from Bela. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to greatly reduce the size of this army. Um, we, I mean, with the, especially if I use my more powerful Rexes, we could probably do this with like 10 easily. Um, but I'll probably cut it in half because right now there's about 40 dinos. We'll make it 20. We'll try that. Now, I still think it's massive overkill, then I'll reduce it even further. Uh, but I, I, you know, farming this, these bosses actually might be better than Bela for two reasons. One, I can teleport here much more quickly, or get to it much more quickly. And secondly, um, you get two sets of loot, right? Instead of just the one set of loot. So, I think that's what we'll do. Um, I am not ready to leave here yet, so I'm just going to make myself a campfire and cook some meat up for the food issue. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this uh, episode. So, yeah, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, we'll tentatively, I, I mean, yeah, we'll tentatively plan on doing the third mini boss, uh, which is in uh, Jotunheim, a really cold area, um, in the next episode. If it works out, that's, that's the tentative plan, and we'll just see how things go. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. 
All right, guys, this is attempt number two. Uh, we have group one over there, and we have group two over there. And uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to really try and direct them so much. I'm just going to give them their head. And in theory, as, uh, as soon as the bosses probably both pop in at exactly the same moment. So if I just put them all on aggressive, these guys should go after the one in front of them, and these guys should go after the one in front of them. That's the theory anyways. Uh, and as you can see, I, I cut the army in half. There's now only 20 instead of... <laughs> Instead of 40 dinos. Uh, and all of these Rexes are my lowest level Rexes, too. I, I pulled the the heavier hitters out because we're going to use those for the, you know, for the next boss. Uh, all right. Let's give this a try and see what happens. Uh, first thing actually I want to do, though, is taming group none. Uh, there aren't any other creatures around here. Okay. Yeah. Let's not set them to aggressive until right before the bosses pop. Just because I don't want them going off after something else. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully this will go a little bit smoother this time. Hati and Skull has been summoned. Okay. Everybody go aggressive. Burn them down. Oh yeah. The, the yellow guy, uh, Skull, right? Yeah, Skull's to just toast. Uh, Rex 23 got Skull. I'll have to try to remember that. And then Hati or Hattie or 35. Okay, killed Hati. Hattie. I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay, yeah, that, was, that was smooth. I mean, we could even almost do this with... Uh, you know, maybe 10 Rexes. In fact, I know we could. They would take a little more damage, but... Cool. Alright, so... Let's see what we get here. Or maybe we... Maybe we even just do it with... You know, like, 8 on each side, or even 6 on each side. Uh, let's see. 35 grabbed loot off of this guy. Oh, I guess he's got his own loot. Okay, what do we... What is that? A Snow Owl saddle. Interesting, okay. Magmasaur saddle. Oh, that's a nice, uh, really nice one, actually. Oh, we'll probably get one of those at one point. Bowman Scorpus and a Sarko. And some pretty decent. Um, actually, those are even better than the Mastercraft ones I have. Yeah, so good scuba gear there. All right, cool. And then, since the corpses uh, are still around, I guess that's where the loot is, right? That makes it nice. We got a nice Mastercraft climbing pick. Ooh, a nice Ascendant Giga Saddle. We'll take that for sure. Iguanodon, a Megalodon, and this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I definitely will... I, I mean, I, I might as well keep doing Bela, too. The thing, though, is we're going to run out of rune stones. So we're going to have to start doing a bunch more alpha kills. But Bela's also easy. But th this one's a better deal just because, again, I can teleport to it more quickly. And we get two sets of loot from doing these guys. So, uh, yeah, there you go.